So how do you get started? Kobo Toolbox, um, so it's to collect data digitally. You can use it for any quantitative survey, not just socioeconomic. And you'll see that the example that we use today is not just socioeconomic, it's about um, sharks and rays um, monitoring in market and in lending sites. The, it can reduce a lot all the errors when you collect data, when you enter your data. Uh, it saves months of data entry time because as soon as you collect the data in the field, then it can be sent automatically to the to the server when you have um, when, you, when you have internet connection. You can have forms in multiple languages, as many as you want, actually. Again, it's free, it's very easy. There are a lot, there are many users, and uh, because there are so many users, um, the, the team, the developers uh, are improving the tool all the time. And as it's an, you know, an open source, the code is completely open source. So anyone with coding skills can also uh, improve the tool. And you can collect data being either online or offline. You don't need internet. You don't need any phone network to collect your data. Even if you're in the most remote place on Earth, you can still collect your data. Some tips on equipment, because I um, people ask me this question quite often about what they should buy if they don't already have tablets uh, or smartphones. So uh, we recommend using Android system um, because it's easy and because Kobo, Kobo Collect, the app can run only on Android. However, there is another platform called Enketo and I will let you know more about this um, soon. And Enketo can run on any device. So you can, even if you have a Windows phone, an iPhone or any other type of device, um, you, can, you can use Enketo to open and collect your data. The important thing to look at if you buy a new uh, device is a battery life. It's good to have at least 10 hours of battery. Um, and in terms of screen size, well, it depends your team preferences, but I think seven inches minimum is good. Um, otherwise, it'd be too small. And if you want to go smaller, it's probably because, I mean, if you, uh, if you want to collect data in a much discreet um, way, then you can go for, for smaller. But surveyors usually like to have big screens. And if you have some extra resources, it's good to have some power banks. Um, and you can also go for either rugged device, which are a bit expensive. Uh, but if you, if you can't pay for rugged device, you can buy a protection case. That's going to be super useful. You don't need to spend too much. Um, there are lots of smartphones and tablets that can be bought for like less than $150. So yeah, no need to spend that much. And when you receive, if you buy new equipment, when you receive it, it's good to test the GPS before going to the field. You know, you are in your office, you turn on the Wi-Fi on the, um, on the tablet and you test the GPS. Um, and this way it will be easier after when you go into the field for the device to, to find you. Um, so the platform and the application. So you have what we call the Kobo toolbox or the internet platform. So it's your account and it's where you can create, edit and deploy the forms. And it's also where your data are being sent. So they are stored on your Kobo toolbox account. You can check your data, clean up and you can download your data from there. And that you can access it from any uh, web browser. So you usually you access it from your computer, but you can also access it for, from any device. And then to collect data in the field, you have the choice between two softwares. The first is Kobo Collect, which is an application, and the second is Enketo. And either Kobo Collect or 
Anketo I used to download the form, collect the data offline, and send back the data to the platform, to Kobo Toolbox. So you use your Kobo Toolbox account to create, manage your forms, manage your data, and you can retrieve the forms from this platform on your tablets or smartphones to collect the data and you send the data back to the Kobo Toolbox account. So on the account, I've just put you screenshots of how it looks. Um, so you have your forms, um, you have all your data that you can store, clean, analyze, and you also have the settings of your projects. You can share, uh, you can change name, description. Kobo Collect is the Android application to collect the data. So Kobo Collect can be used only on Android, and that's why we, we use an alternative if you don't have Android system. Uh, Kobo Collect works both online and offline. Um, it does not support some special features. So for example, there is a type of question that is the table or the matrix question that doesn't work on Kobo Collect. There is a bit more steps to install and collect the data, but um, there are some positive points. Um, it allows uh, on Kobo Collect, you can edit the forms after they are completed, before they uh, are sent. So sometimes it's quite useful for the team to be able to, um, to check you know, every night the data that are being collected and to edit if necessary. Enketo is the, it's just a web application. You don't need to install anything. Um, it, can, it can work on any device and it also works online and offline. So now that you know the different platforms, we're going to see uh, how each work. So to go to your Kobo Toolbox account, you go to this address and don't worry, we will send you uh, this PowerPoint with the link. And for those who haven't had it yet, we also have a Kobo Toolbox guide with all the links again. So uh, yeah, you will have all those links. So you go to this address to create your account. Um, they, have, they have two servers. They have one uh, that is called the humanitarian server and the other one that is called the researcher one. Um, what's important to know is that you cannot share forms between the two servers. So um, we thought that for conservation NGOs, it's better to use the researcher server uh, so in WCS, for example, everyone is on the researcher server. So it's important that you um, that you stay on that, so you can so we can share forms between each other. And then, then it's just a simple, you know, filling a form uh, to create an account. You receive a link on your email address, and you can click on it to activate your account. The homepage. So once you are connected. So here is an example of the uh, homepage um, of one account. So you have on at the top uh, left of your screen, you have a blue button uh, called new that you will use to create new forms. And then in the middle, you have all your forms. And then on the left, you have a panel with the deployed drafts and archived. Deployed means that the form is on the server, which means that you can collect and send data using those forms. The ones that are under draft, you cannot collect data yet. You have to deploy it. And the ones that are archived is the one um, that you, know, you finished using. Uh, and I will repeat this, but it's very important to never delete a form. Uh, it's if you have data in it, because once you delete a form with data, you cannot retrieve it. 
So it's better to just archive all the forms that you've used and that uh, for which data collection is completed or finished. Kobo Collect, um, how do you install it? So if you go on your Google Play Store, you can find the Google Collect app um, and it's you know just a normal app to install. Once it is installed, there is a few settings uh, to do. So you go to general settings and then you click on server. And then in the URL, you will keep the beginning of your uh, URL address. And at the end, after the last um, slash, you put your username. So, for example, in WCS uh, and in, in the console side even, sorry, we have a convention for account naming where we want all the accounts to be named with first the initials of the um, organization and then the name of, for example, I don't know, your landscape uh, or your projects. And so, for example, we have the, the Sharks and Rays team, they already have created their accounts. And so we have, I think, a WCS Tanzania account, WCS uh, Madagascar account, things like that. And this, changing this URL allows to connect your app, Kobo Collect, with your account so that you can get all the forms from your account. Um, 